Hello, people of Earth. I'm Danny Danger, and this is my poll list for August 7th. Once you kidnap a couple of corrupt police officers and hold them hostage to use them as leverage to get your vigilante friend out of jail, you can't really go back. So I'm really interested to see how Gail Simone and Freddie Williams II are going to get their characters out of this little pickle in the movement number four. The last installment of Mara comes out this week, and I am so excited. The former sports star turned alienated superheroine has been pushed to the brink by the world's defenses, and now she's about to fight back. And I'm interested to see what happens. Who's going to pay the price for what she's had to suffer? Vertigo is releasing Jeff Lemire's Trillium this week, a love story between a 38th century botanist and an explorer from the 1920s. How do these people even meet? Is there like a time travel hookup bar type thing? How is this going to affect the space-time continuum? Find out with me. In last month's installment of Green Arrow, we met the new 52 reboots of The Clock King, Shadow, and Count Vertigo. This week, 23 comes out, and I'm really excited to see Ollie interact with his best friends again. And I'm also interested to find out more about his relationship with Shadow. It's supposed to be pretty cool. Tune in to hear the East of West End of Times prediction in issue number five. A lot of you people have this on your poll list, but you haven't really told me what you think about it. So tell me down below in the comments. Are you liking it? Yeah. Mike unearths a photo that may shed a little bit of light on his father's death in the second issue of Satellite Sam. It's a 1950s tale about debauchery and the television business. It's kind of like Mad Men, but with more scandal. Ooh. In Sheltered Number 2, the children have brutally murdered their parents. So now what are they going to do with all of the supplies to basically run their own small town? And what happens to the one girl who wants to escape? I really enjoyed the first issue of this series, and I wouldn't be surprised if this becomes one of the best-selling comics here pretty soon, so pick it up now. Wait, what? The cover of all new X-Men 15 has me very confused. However, if you're like me and you've ever shipped Jean Grey with anyone other than the stuck-up pretty boy Cyclops, meh, then you'll probably love this issue. And last but not least, if you thought that putting Hit Girl in prison was gonna be a bad thing, clearly you don't know enough about the pint-sized bad guy assassin. But we'll find out more about it in Kick-Ass Volume 3, Number 2. What a confusing way to title your comic. Kick-Ass 3, Number 2. Kick-Ass Volume 3, Number 2. Kick-Ass Volume 18, Number 13. What? That's my poll list. What are you excited about this week? Tell me down below in the comments or pop on over to weird-girls.com and tell us in the forums. Also, be sure to share this video, subscribe, like it, love it. As always, a very special thanks goes out to Austin Books and Comics.